So, check this out. My grandfather walked 10 miles to work every day. My father walked five. I'm driving a Cadillac. My son is in a Mercedes. He said my grandson will be in a Ferrari. But he said my great grandson will be walking again. So I asked him, I said, well, why is that? And he said to me, tough times create strong men. Strong men create easy times. Easy times create weak men. Weak men create tough times. He said to me, many will not understand, but you have to raise warriors. I can't lie, bro. That was one of the realest, the realest. I understood everything. If you have children, you understand exactly what he's saying. That was like the realest thing he ever wrote, his granddad. You know what I'm saying? Like Pac said. It's the realest I ever wrote. I was like, isn't that, isn't that like, what, what is that, Mar? What, what are you doing? <laughs> that was the realest thing he ever, his grandfather ever wrote right there. I respect it because it's, it's hard. Like, for us, right? You want to take every, every, you want to give your kids, you always tell yourself, I want to give them better than what I had. Right. I want to give them everything I I didn't have. You know what I'm saying? I right. don't want them to want for nothing. I'm going to work hard and make sure that their life. Right. But what you don't understand what you're doing is you're creating spoiled. Weak men. Weak. And it's tough because there's no manual for this thing called parenting. You know what I mean? It's no, it's no manual. So that was my mindset, and we kind of created some monsters, some spoiled monsters. We did some monsters. We did. So when he said that and was like, "My great grand will be walking," I was like, "Yo, that kind of hit home," because for me, you know what I'm saying? I had to figure it out. I had to learn on the fly. I had to get. I always worked. Right. It was hard for me. You know what I'm saying? I had to work. It wasn't no easy road. It wasn't no, mm -mm. Mm, no. Even when you got to college, it wasn't no parents pay for your college. It was no, you get a job and whatever courses that came out of pocket, you paid for. Yeah. So I was working a job and going to school. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was much more harder for me. So when I got there, I was like, no, nah, I'm going to pay for their college. I'm going to make sure they don't need anything. I'm going to make sure I do this, that, and the third. But what I was doing is not knowing I was. Well, yours aren't in college just yet. Right. So I think it started earlier on with, you know, making sure like the private schools and starting them early and trying to put them in different activities that they actually decided, no, I don't, I never like that. I don't want to do that. And it's like. But you did it. <laughs> like, you was out there playing. and every, like, It's, it's crazy because you, you don't want to feel like, because I'm a sports fan. So I'm like, oh, man, let's. But you feel like you're forcing it on them. Right. You know what I'm saying? You want to try to figure out what they want to do, what they like to do, and stuff like that. But at the same time, this generation is not like the previous generation. Mm -mm. So it's more of a video game content creator slash in-house not want to go outside the most like work smarter not harder type thought process opinionated let's debate let's discuss um yeah what what you had a hand in this too yeah i did where do you feel like this hits home for you all of it, you know, because, you know, like, just like you said, we just had that different background where it's like we were always working, always doing something. I always saw my mother working and um, trying to make, you know, provide our needs, our wants and what we wanted for Christmas, like school clothes, like all the, you know, things. Um, but 
I knew that, okay, when I had a cell phone, I had a job. I had to work and pay for that cell phone. That's a fact. You know, when I got a car, I had to work and I had to buy that car myself. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. I didn't have no iPhone going to school. No. I didn't have a phone mm-hmm. in school. I didn't have. You know what I mean? All this, all this crazy kind of Even stuff. Even when they started being cool, it's like I still had to work and pay my bill. You like, had to work. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, and I just felt like, you know, the generation will see, if they see you, you know, it's kind of like the energy you put off. Like, if they see you doing this and that, or they saw this, you know. That's what I was hoping. It a click, you know. That's what I was. That's how hoping. it was for me. Like I always saw my mother um, working and doing whatever to make sure we were happy and we were satisfied, you know. And I mean, she would work at the school, have her own business, you know. Um, and our fathers, our bir- biological fathers, weren't there all the time. Um, so yeah, it was it's a process. Yeah, you talked about school clothes. I, my mom made me work to get my school clothes. My oh, school yeah. clothes. I money. never forget. Ooh, just in case you know who you are and you just happen to watch this video, ha, this was just a discussion. But I remember this one time when, um, like, we only had Mama had like so much money for school clothes, and she gave us all like our amounts. And I I can't remember what the amount was, but I remember um one of my siblings was like. They wanted a name brand outfit. So they used all their money to buy that one name brand outfit, you know, just to, you know. I know who that was. Mind your business. I know who that was. Mind your business, you know. So, like, and that's another reason why sometimes I know with parenting, it's like, I would lose my mind if I didn't have you. So that's what made me the other day when I was talking to you. I was like, boy. It makes you truly understand and appreciate, you know, different things because you have to do it all alone, you know? Facts. Facts. Because I saw it. Facts. You know what I mean? Um, For me, like I said, yeah, school clothes. My mom made me one year. She's like, okay, you want nice school clothes? You're going to work for it. You're going to get your money up. You're going to get it up, and then you're going to buy what you need. Like, I didn't know it then. It sucked then. I hated it then. You know what I mean? But it created a monster out of me. It taught me the value. It taught me how yeah. to go hard. It taught me different things. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't know that then. You know what I mean? Seeing her work the way she did, seeing my pops work the way they did, right. I wanted to stand on my own and I wanted to, you know what I mean? I didn't want their help when I got out of high school and different things like that. I wanted to do it myself. You right. know what I'm saying? But it seems like today's generation, and I'm not knocking all of today's generation, but for the most part, you know, this is a different... This is a different era. It's era. different. Like, a whole playbook that nobody released. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm pretty sure our parents said the same thing about us. They was like, yo, this new generation here, they don't this and that. You know what I'm saying? And it'll probably continue to repeat and repeat as times change. It's just... Yeah. Trying to raise, you know, trying to, trying to raise them right and trying to figure it out. Um, but no, he, he definitely, I thought it was another one too. What? I thought I sent you another one. I don't know. I didn't see that one. I, you sent me this one. And uh, after seeing that just right then, like, that, that, that hits home for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I worked at one point in time, you remember, I was working four jobs. Mm-hmm. Fire Station, Arizona Chemical, um, Savannah International Paper, and on an ambulance. You know what I'm saying? So those were some days the fire department required you to work 24-hour shift. Then I would leave there. I wouldn't come home. Do another 24 I would do another, no, t- ride down to Savannah oh. and go do 12. So it's 36 hours straight. Then I would come home, see y'all, be sleep. But when you was on EMS, that was 24. That was 24 yeah. sometimes, too. So it could possibly be a 48 yeah. before I see y'all again. So right. it was, it was, I was always working, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out a way to get us ahead. And I was hoping that type of stuff would rub off, but boy, whew. It's like they miss it. And then I had a discussion with Zion today and he was like, um, he it's like, he totally forgot about this period of our time, of our life. 
Like when, yeah, he talked to me about that. Yeah, and I'm like, well, you were there. <laughs> yeah, he was like, where was I? I was like, you were there. <laughs> you were just younger. You don't recall it, but yeah. All those times, bro, I felt like I was just yeah. living to work. That's all I was doing. You know what I'm saying? But it does, it does. You think you're doing the right thing, and it does create and breed laziness sometimes. And, and you see that in them, and you're like, but how can you be that way? And you have all the opportunities yep. in the world. You know what I mean? You have all the resources in the world. That right. phone you have in your hand, that iPhone that you have in your hand is right. a resource. You can do so much with that. You know what I mean? Instead right. of just looking on Instagram all day or or, or hey, Roblox yeah, or that, Fortnite, or, Fortnite or, or something like that. But if yeah. you're going to do, even if you're going to do that, Turn it into something. Right. I'll get you a camera. You know what I'm saying? I'll get you a camera. Mm -hmm. I'll get you set up. I'll hang out with their friends. Cause, well, I, Turn it into it. something. I'm never going to tell you I not to. I even told Zaire we would buy him a computer to build the game that he was talking about. And, and then I'll, I'm going to build it on. He built it on something. On his um, laptop or something. It was something totally different. So, so understand, y'all. It's not that I'm saying a video game is hindering them and video games ain't no good. No. I'm saying, okay, if you're going to be a gamer, use it. Turn it into something. How do you create the balance? How do you motivate them to be motivated about their own future? Right. Their own. Without it being like... I want you no know, get up now. Yeah, my mom was like, "Oh, you ain't finna lay around here exactly. all day." That was a that's a parent saying right there. Oh, you ain't finna lay around here all day. Exactly. Dude, you think you just finna lay around all day, mm -mm. sleep all day in here? So no, I got. You want me to find years, something you, you do? No. Exactly. I used to call my little room back down in in the country was cell block A down there. That's what I call my room, cell block A. You wrong. My mom was not finna what this yard we. Man, this yard could be braked. You can oh, pick up pine cones. Yeah, yeah. You can go ahead and pick up pecans. You can do this. Yes. My mom was one of the moms with a with that china cabinet. I think we should do that. What? Make them go pick up pecans. We did it. I know I did. Or lay some grass. Oh, you was out there laying inside. Or, or mow different. it. You built different. Some. You I'm built for it tough. Oh. You built for it tough. <laughs> About that coin. <laughs> you built for it, though. But uh, y'all get at us in the comment section, man. Let, let us know what y'all thought about this, man. Yeah. Do you agree with what he was saying? You know what I mean? Do you see that cycle as how well? How do we stop that cycle? How do we, how do we stop it? It takes a village. So this is our village that we're creating, y'all. We're going to be looking at y'all to get some answers and suggestions because we don't know everything. We don't. Yeah. We don't know half of it. We don't. Oh, no. We know a piece Probably of just it. like a quarter. A crumb. Like a quarter. Like a quarter? Uh, yeah. A quarter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We need your help. Yeah. So I think this is dope and a good topic yeah, for I discussion. Like, yeah, for sure. We need to fix it because I know it starts at home. It starts with us so that we don't have the ones out there being lazy. getting. What happened to the different... parents that used to threaten to send you to boot camp? Woo, you remember that? Yep. Man. It's them parents out there that be like, all right, keep it up. Just send your little butt to boot camp. Boot camp used to be terrifying. Yep. Yeah, don't well, don't act like you don't remember. Oh, I know. My parents I would know. send your butt to boot camp. Play with it if you want to. Yes. Play with it if you want to. You was not going to just sit around. Yes, my grandma did not play. She did that. If I'm not mistaken, she did it to my um, uncles. See? <laughs> See what I'm saying? She was like, oh, no. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. So y'all get at us, man. And uh, to the next one, we out.